Hello, what's up and what's up? Welcome back to another through the years. Today we got Andre Johnson. Now the next one we do for football will probably be Clinton Portis. And the next one we do for basketball will probably be Tracy McGrady. Now anyways, man, Andre Johnson kicking things off at a humble 72 overall. Oh, and if you enjoy these videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you ain't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can continue to go on this journey together. Now anyways, man, Andre Johnson from the U. He is 72 overall with 81 speed, 47 strength, 65 awareness, 78 agility, 80 acceleration, 72 catch, 66 carry, 82 jumping, and a 59 break tackle rating. So, pretty good receiver, man. He had size, he had speed. I mean, the next year, he's 95 overall for a reason, man. A funny story. Santana Moss and Reggie Wayne, they're both quoted as saying they got to keep this young man off the field because they didn't want him to take their spots. True story, look it up. I ain't fooling around. Anyways, man, 95 overall in NCAA 03. He, uh, he, had, he, <coughs> he had 94 speed, 56 strength. He also had 85 awareness, 89 agility, 93 acceleration, 95, or 93, excuse me, catching, 58 for his carry, 82 for his jumping, and a 58 break tackle rating for the beast from the U. He a bad boy, man. He a bad boy. And then when he got drafted by the Houston Texans, he gave them hope because that team was buns. And you had no reason to play with them unless you were from Houston or doing a franchise mode. Now, anyways, man, he is 82 overall in Madden 04, his rookie season. He had 95 speed, 66 strength, 65 awareness, 88 agility, 95 acceleration, 82 catch, 60 carry, 90 jumping, 80. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 65 break tackle, excuse me, young fella. And in this game, they had him win. 15, so I changed it to 80, obviously. And he was the second string receiver, even though he had the highest overall on the team. But you know how they want to do rookies, man. Now in ESPN Info 2K4, he is 76 overall. And in this game, he was the third string receiver. Like, like 2K. Like, like, like I love some 2K, but 2K, what was he thinking? Anyways, man, he also had 81 catching, 98 speed, 88 agility, 45 strength. 84 for his route running, 92 jumping ability, 67 for his ball security or carry, 71 for his break tackle, and he also had 21 run blocking. I tried to get the run blocking for you guys for the receiver position, but I forgot to do it besides this one, so I apologize. But just trying to give you guys something new, some run blocking, because the run blocking is very important for these guys on the outside. Now, anyways, Andre Johnson and Madden 05, he's already a household name. David Carr, give this man the ball. That's all you got to do, baby. All you got to do. Now, Madden 05 is 85 overall with 95 speed, 67 strength, 69 awareness. He also had 90 agility, 95 acceleration, 84 catching. His carry is at 62. His jumping is, is at 92. And his break tackle is at 66. And right here, beating the Jets like they stole something. Andre Johnson, he a bad boy, man. One of the best Madden receivers Especially the last like 10 years, man. I know Larry Fitzgerald got Calvin, then you got Antonio Brown, you know, the last five years and stuff like that. But Andre Johnson, consistency, boy, consistency. And he never really had the best receiving core around him, best quarterback throwing him the ball, or the best running game. Now, I know Aaron Foster came later, but Aaron Foster wasn't there the whole time Andre was there. Come on, man, don't get it twisted. Now, Madden 2005, he is 84 overall with 85 catching, 98 for his speed, 88 agility. 45 strength, 92 jumping, 67 carries, 71 break tackle, and an 86 route running rating. Now right here, taking on the Jaguars, beating the brakes off the Jaguars. Moving on to next gen, back then, on the 360, he is 90 overall. This is the third season. 90 overall already, because he was a monster, and he was all Houston had on offense, so if you double team Andre, your opponent was in trouble. Now, anyways, man, he had he was 90 overall with 95 speed, 70 strength, 79 awareness, 90 agility, 95 acceleration, 82 catching, 76 carry, 94 jumping, and a 66 break tackle rating. But like I said, if you double teamed him, it was pretty easy to beat the Texans back then. Not this and the Texans. I mean, but the truth is what the truth is. And sometimes the truth hurts. But anyways, man, Madden 07, he is 89 overall. Takes a dip, just one point in his overall, but he still had 95 speed, 70 strength, 92 for his agility, 94 for his acceleration, 78 for his awareness, 87 for his elusiveness, 85 for his stiff form, 87 for his juke, 66 carry, 86 catch, 
and of course a 94 jumping rating. Now Madden 07 was the year that Reggie Bush and Mario Williams they got into Madden being the number one and number two pick respectively. Now Houston made the right decision in my opinion going with Mario Williams and not Reggie Bush. However for Madden purposes only, for Madden purposes it would have been a scary sight to see Reggie Bush and Andre Johnson on the same team. Just throwing it out there. Madden 08, he is 94 overall. He also comes in with a speed rating of of 95. I had my page on the wrong page and excuse me for that awkward pause. Anyway, 73 strength, 93 agility, 94 acceleration. Also comes in with 86 awareness, 87 looseness, 85 stiff form, 87 juke move, 68 carry, 90 catch, 89 route running, 92 catch in traffic, 93 spectacular catch, 96 release, and a 96 jumping rating. He's a bad boy, goes over the middle, makes a catch, gets a nice stiff form, gets into the end zone, and the Houston Texans get another touchdown by the great, the legendary, the spectacular, the all, okay, not the almighty, but he's a pretty freaking darn good receiver, and Andre Johnson. Now, my man Johnson from the U comes in at 96 overall in Madden 09 with 95 speed, 80 strength, 93 agility, 94 acceleration, 87 awareness, 88 looseness, 85 stiff form. He also comes Comes in with the 87 juke move, a 75 carry, a 90 catch rating. His route running is at 94. His catch and traffic is at 92. Spectacular catch is at 94. His release is at 97. And his jumping ability is at a good old 96 because he can go over the middle and jump over any DBs, man. He's too big for a corner. He's too fast for a safety. Don't you ever think about putting a linebacker on him when somebody tries to sneak his way and put him in the slot. That's what I love to do, Andre Johnson. Put him in the slot, let him run that skinny post. It was trouble because no safety could deal with him. Ed Reed, he was pretty good. You know, Troy Palmolo, he was pretty good too. But, I mean, in Madden, it was a done deal. Now, Madden 10, he is 98 overall. <coughs> I said he is 98 overall with 94 speed, 80 strength, 94 agility, 95 acceleration, 91 awareness, 80 illusionist, 85 stiff arm, 85 juke, 75 carry, 96 catching, 94 route running, 94 catch in traffic, 94 spectacular catch, 96 break tackle, not break tackle, full beat press or release rating, and then a 95 jumping. So again, that's a 96 beat press or um, um, release, a 95, 96 release. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to say that. Beat press, release, whatever. I'm going to say release for that rating. Anyways, Madden 11 with Drew Brees on the cover. He is 98 overall again. Again he is. Now, again, he's 98 overall. Clearly one of the best receivers in Madden. He had Larry Fitzgerald. He had Kyle Johnson, but Andre Johnson, he couldn't go wrong with it. Couldn't go wrong with him. Now, Madden 11, 98 overall with 94 speed. 80 strength, 94 agility, 95 acceleration. Awareness is at 91. Elusiveness is at 76. Stiff form is at 85. 85 juke, 75 carry, 95 catching, 95 route running, 96 catch in traffic because he was a man. Okay, he ain't gonna drop no balls over the middle. Okay, I'm just saying. 96 spectacular catch, 96 uh, release, and then a 95 jumping rating. Madden 12. Oh, Madden 12. One of the best Maddens ever. Especially on the 360, because all the Maddens basically sucked. But anyways, man, Madden 12, he's 97 overall with 94 speed, 80 strength, 93 agility, 94 acceleration, 92 awareness, 72 illusiveness, 85 stiff arm, 84 juke, 75 carry. He also had a 96 catch, a 95 route running, a 95 catch in traffic, 90 spectacular catch, 97 release, and 93 jumping ability. I'm telling you, man, this dude's a flat out beast, especially in these matters. Without the aggressive catch and all that stuff, you actually had to use it. You could throw the ball up to the receiver, use it yourself, and come home with beautiful catches, especially with big receivers like Calvin and Andre and Larry Fitz, man. I'm telling you, man, Madden, we don't need all this help. We don't need all this help. Let, let the ballers online return to being the ballers online. Now, anyways, man, Madden 13, 97 overall again with 94 speed. 79 strength, 93 agility, 93 acceleration, 93 awareness, 72 elusiveness, 85 stiff form, 84 juke move, 75 carry, 97 catch, 95 route running, 97 catch in traffic, 91 spectacular catch, 97 release, and then a 93 jumping rating again. And he's already like 6'3". He's faster than most corners, way bigger than most corners. 
and then you add on that jumping ability, just throw it up like we used to do with the big boss Randy Moss from back in the day. Now Madden 97, not Madden 97, full Madden 25, he is 97 overall. 91 speed, so he's starting to lose a little bit when it comes to his speed. 78 strength, 92 agility, 90 acceleration, 98 awareness, 72 elusiveness, 85 stiff form, 84 juking. He also has a 75 carry, 97 catch, 97 route running, 98 win for his catching traffic, 87 for his attack, 97 for his 87. 87, excuse me, 87, god dang it, 87 for his spectacular catch, 96 for his release, and a 91 jump rating. Moving on to Madden 15, thank goodness, we have 95 overall, Andre Johnson with 90 speed, 78 strength, 89 agility, 88 acceleration, 98 awareness, 72 looseness, 85 stiff form, 80 spin move, 84 for his juke move, 75 carry, 96 catch, 98 route run, 94 route running, excuse me, 98 catch in traffic, 87 spectacular catch, 96 release, and then a 91 jumping rating. He's that dude. And then we get to the Madden that broke all Maddens. Madden 16 with the aggressive catch. Now, this is with the updated roster. The updated roster, his last overall, as far as we know, is going to be 81 overall. But with his size and jumping ability, he was still a man amongst boys. 81 overall with 84 speed, 78 strength, 85 agility, 87 acceleration, 84 awareness, 73 looseness, 84 stiff form, 83 juke, 69 carry, 82 catch, 80 route running, 88 catch in traffic, 87 spectacular catch, 82 release, and then an 88 jumping ability. And you see him doing work, man. You see him doing work. He is a bad man. A bad man. Gotta say it twice because he's so nice or he's so bad. Y'all know what I mean. Now, anyways, when we add up all his overalls for the games that I have and then we divide it by that number of games, he is a 96 overall for his career as a video game character. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Anyways, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day, people. And I'm going to see y'all later, man.